Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have already filmed this video and then I ended up losing the footage, which is why I'm having to refilm. And before we get into it, just ignore my really bad fake tan hands. We're just gonna glide straight past that. But today I actually have a Poundland haul for you. I think it's Poundland, it might be Pound World. Pound World, sorry. We have a Pound World haul. I know everybody loves a good Pound World haul because it's just so, so cheap and there's so many amazing things that you can pick up in there. So I'm gonna quickly go through some of the little goodies that I picked up this time round. I'm gonna actually get food over with first, mostly because I've kind of eaten all of it by now. I actually had quite a lot of bars of chocolate, sweets, and I have actually eaten them all because like I said, I filmed this and then ate everything, realized I lost all the footage, and decided that I needed to refilm. So there isn't that much left, actually. <laughs> but something that is actually left and has managed to survive is actually two packs of chew -its. So There was six. I have already eaten four, which is pretty bad. Seems how I only bought this stuff a few days ago. <laughs> but I absolutely love these. These are the chew -its, the fruit salad flavor ones. You get six for a pound. The vegetarian, they taste amazing. They're great to shove in my bag so I can eat them on the go or while I'm at work, but I just had to pick them up and as you can tell I've already eaten four. I absolutely love them so that was the first thing I grabbed. And the only other food kind of related thing that has survived <laughs> is actually just these. These are Maxwell House um, coffees. They're basically just like instant coffees. You get 10 sash... 10 sachets, sachets, why can't I say that today? 10 sachets and I actually pick these up because every time I go home my dad has these in the cupboard because he takes them to work and he always offers me one, <laughs> he always offers me one and they taste so nice. This is just the three in one so it's already got the white uh, coffee so it's already got the milk, the coffee and the sugar in there so it's just a little tiny sachet, it's pouring into your hot water and it's done straight away and they're actually really really nice. I really like these so I just thought I would grab my own to just have, if I'm in a rush, straight into a cup, mug, yeah, you know how to make coffee. Anyway, they're only a pound, so why not? So it's basically, what, 10 p for a cup of coffee instead of going into Starbucks or Costa and spending an absolute fortune like I always do, so I'm happy with those. So moving on to homeware kind of things, you might find this a little bit boring, a little bit mundane, but if you wanna know what I picked up, I grabbed some brushes. <laughs> I just needed some, I needed this, not that one, this one here, because I've got quite some tall um, glass, why, I can't speak at all today. I've got some tall glasses and I can never reach the bottom of them and that freaks me out thinking they've never been cleaned properly. So I grabbed this mostly just because of that, but for a pound, I got four brushes and these will come in handy because I need to actually start cleaning more. So couldn't complain, I just got them in the gray, four brushes for four for a pound, like what, 25p brush, not complaining at all. Another slightly mundane thing, I actually picked up four measuring spoons. I thought this was such a bargain, like measuring spoons aren't always the cheapest. I've seen some in, in home, not home base, um, home sense and they were quite a few pound but for a pound I managed to get this set of four so I don't really know the sizes but I actually got these because I'm hoping to start baking some more because I'm an atrocious baker and I need to spend some more time in the kitchen so I got these as like a little push to start baking so got those. I also picked up some hangers because the most depressing thing about becoming an adult is realizing how expensive living actually is and stupid things like coat hangers cost an arm and a freaking leg, just so you can hang your clothes up in the wardrobe to never be worn. So I couldn't pass these up really. Um, I think they're a pack of five. Yeah, five at plastic non-slip hangers. So they're kind of like rubbery, which is fab because nothing more frustrating than your clothes just sliding off everywhere in your wardrobe. So you get five in each pack. So for two pound, I got 10 coat hangers, which is not bad whatsoever. So I just thought while I'm there, save myself from buying more expensive ones in the future. And these are gonna be fab. So I had to pick those up. Okay, next I actually just picked up some posted boxes. I used to buy these all the time for loads of different reasons. And then when I actually came to wanting and needing some more, I could not remember for the life of me where to get these from for so cheap. I was like, it's either pound stretcher, home bargains or B&M. And everywhere I went just didn't have them. So I went this time, saw them and just grabbed them. These pop up into basically like a little box and it tells you the size it's 29 centimeters by 25.5 centimeters by eight centimeters. The class is the medium ones. You get two in there. They already had the little label ready for you there and they're dead easy, just pop up. So I thought they're always handy to just have lying around if I wanted to send any parcels or if I want to send any giveaway things. If you want a giveaway, let me know down below. But yeah, I couldn't just pass up the option. So just pick those up, very random really. Another homeware item I picked up is just this clear box. Again, storage boxes 
so expensive. Like for that, well, for the, not this one, obviously it's a pound world haul, but for storage boxes, they are so pricey. I think, I don't know if it was Roxy or Zoella and Alfie, I can't remember, someone was buying storage boxes in like Homebase or B&M, uh, not B&M, B&Q, and they were like £30 for a plastic box, and I'm not being funny, but I've not got time to be spending £30 on a shitty plastic box, like, mm, not about that life. So the fact they had quite a decent sized box for a pound, I was not gonna leave it behind. These come in so handy, even if it's just for a pair of shoes, but I use them mostly for like makeup, or, you know, little beauty bits, just to keep everything together. So I just pick one up, and this will probably get filled as soon as I finish filming this video, because why not for a pound? I'm kind of, Good that I didn't buy some more. I think I might go back and grab a few more because these would be fab to just go at the bottom of my wardrobe or something like that, so why not? So moving on, I actually grabbed a couple of stationary bits this time. Pound Land, Pound World, all that jazz. Their stationery is insane. I've raved about it in the past, will continue to rave about it. So I just grabbed these pens, like how cute are those pens they're just ballpoint pens and my theme of this room soon is going to be gray pink and white like a past sleeping so i thought these were so perfect even if they're just for display i just thought they were absolutely perfect they're so so cute only a pound so i'm very happy with those and to go with that i actually picked up another planner style thing i've grabbed so many of these in the past i put them in giveaways but it's basically just an a4 strip of paper use it you rip it off chuck it away but they're great um and this is the things to do this week so you got monday tuesday all the way down to sunday here you've got urgent with a little um ticky thing there then you've got calls emails notes to-do lists and the week number i think these are just great because i constantly go through notebooks from writing to-do lists so i think these are more perfect because you just rip them off chuck them in the bin and it was only a pound and it's pink to match the room so i'm really happy with this so hopefully i can keep track of appointments or things that i've got to do videos i've got to plan etc etc and it's not in a notebook like my bullet journal so it's not permanent literally just write it on this if I bugger it up rip it off see you later so the final thing I picked up from the homeware department I have been after a soft pink throw or blanket for so so long just ready to go in this office when it's finished and I couldn't find one anywhere well a cheap one anywhere I even checked out Primark who usually have every single color they did have pink but it was like a fuchsia neon pink and I was like no thanks and I just sort of gave up and then when I was in Poundland Pound World sorry I came across the most perfect one, exactly what I was looking for. It's really big, so soft. It's pretty much the same quality as the Primark one, so very, very good. And I'm so impressed. The color is perfect. It's this gorgeous baby pink. And obviously with this being like a more luxury item from Pound World, I guess this was actually five pounds, which is expensive for Pound World, but for what it is, so so cheap and i could not be happier with this so i'm not too sure where it's gonna go yet maybe thrown over a chair or something but i'm so happy and this is so so soft i'm over the moon that i found this so well done pattern world you've made me happy i lied i actually have one more homeware style item i just grabbed a couple of candles i'm really bad for candles i have a really bad obsession with candles really really bad i just love them being on i just feel relaxed so the fact i managed to pick up two for a pound i was not complaining i have really bad insomnia i have for maybe 10 years and i have quite restless sleeps and the one thing that does help is lavender if you've not heard lavender's really really good for helping you sleep so i just grabbed these you get two candles lavender scented they smell very nice very strong and these burn for nine hours each so let me take them out I just thought for why not for a pound for two candles like they're only tiny don't get me wrong but they'll do the trick they'll just be nice to have on they can join my collection of hundreds and hundreds of candles so why not i'm gonna move on to more like beauty i only have two little items the first one is actually johnson's baby powder <laughs> my sister is actually having a baby boy soon and i'm just putting together loads of little bits that are perfect for mums i guess so johnson's baby powder is apparently something you use on a baby i don't have a clue what it's for think maybe drying the baby as you can tell i'm not very maternal awkward with kids but yeah i just grabbed one of these they're only a pound so you can't go wrong if you can get any baby related stuff for cheap why not so grabbed one of those smells so good and then finally i grabbed some vaseline intense care hand moisturizer this stuff is so expensive like in boots it's like four pound so the fact that I've got the decent sized tub of it because you can get really tiny ones for a pound. I am so happy with it. I'm suffering from really dry hands at the minute. 
always have the cold doesn't help tan doesn't help so this is great and it was only a pound so i was so happy to get this this is for healthy hands stronger nails and it is brilliant it smells really good dries very very quickly so i'd recommend this if you've never tried it and want something to keep your hands nice and moisturized but for a pound very happy with that but that is actually everything i picked up this time in my trip to pound world i adore shopping in there because i never go in planning to buy something i usually think i'll just pop in and get myself a drink and then i come out with boatloads of stuff so that was a little bit of a haul though this time i might do a bigger one sometime soon but yeah if you like pound world hauls just click that subscribe button because i'm doing them all the time that's everything so thank you so much for watching please give it a massive thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you're not also all of my social media is linked down below so feel free to head on over there and check me out and i'll see you in my next one bye